Welcome to the story of In This Boat. In This Boat is one of the first songs I wrote for the new album. Um, it came around quite naturally actually. Um, I was introduced to the Immersion Composition Society's 20 song game a few years ago and have taken part in a couple of sessions where basically you set aside a certain amount of time. The idea being that you don't do too much self-editing. So it, it really is you sit down, um, whatever riff you play or whatever melody you sing, you just use that and you're supposed to make an idea out of it, record it quickly and move on to the next thing. So I've done that a couple of times before and actually some of the songs off the first album came out of that. It was quite an emotionally turbulent time for me and so I was quite interested in exploring the idea of your body as a vessel that carries you through life. So in this boat is very much about self-sufficiency and strength and trying to make sure that you are taking control of making sure that your vessel's prepared for voyages. Chris TT very kindly offered to come and play piano. What I wanted him to bring was the emotional weather, so the deep, gurgling, um, tempestuous sounds that the sea would make with the boat on it. <laughs> Um, that all sounds really beautiful, but maybe in, well, maybe we should come back to the verses later. But it just doesn't need to be as much. Millie McGregor came as well, and she played violin. We met when we were playing in Viv Albertine's band for a few shows, and she's just a lovely girl and very beautiful violinist. <laughs> What's that in your hands? What's his name? His name is Wilbur. Here's my violin. He's beautiful. He's French. He's 250 years old. Wow. Yeah. What's his French name? Uh, Wilberforce. Wilberforce. The idea for her was to be, to sort of bring the seasick element, the kind of swaying, sonorous, wooden sounds. That's what, that's what I wanted from the violin. I also invited Bass from Jevra to come and do some vocals. Now he was on Not In My Name on the first record and on this song I actually stole, borrowed, stole uh, a lyric from a song called Rising Tide of the Disconnected which is a Jevra song. Um, I just switched it around as well so my version is you are an anchor I am a wave but the original version was um, I am an anchor you are a wave. So it was quite confusing in the studio, as, as you can imagine. Um, but I think it worked really well. I wanted to have a big layered outro, because um, the idea is that it really reaches this peak of, of a storm. So it was really wonderful listening back to In This Boat when it was mixed, and just actually being quite overcome because there's so much love on there you know there's it's people I know I only invite people who I think are brilliant to come and perform on any of my stuff um, it almost wouldn't matter if they weren't good at the instrument it's more that they are great people and I love what they do in their own bands as it happens everyone's pretty wonderful at their instruments too so it works out well the visuals for this album are going to be based pretty much around the idea of bunting and battleships. Um, it's just something that came to me as I was recording, mainly in this boat. Obviously it's got a nautical theme to it. It follows on from songs like Scared to Capsize off the first album, where in the video we explored the idea of different creatures being in a sort of a world with paper props, like a paper boat and a paper anchor and things like that. Um, I'm very influenced by Michel Gondry uh, in the video, directing and, and coming up with ideas. And I really like that that can be a continuation I don't have to reinvent myself for each album, it's, it's, it's all part of a bigger story. It's funny how things from your childhood just pop up. I mean, I was given a typewriter by my granddad a couple of years before he died, and I still have it, and it's really beautiful. And I decided I was going to use it to type up the lyrics from the album to go in the illustrated lyric book anyway. And then when I was thinking about visuals for In This Boat for the, um, for the single cover, I decided to make an origami boat out of um, typed lyrics. And then I made sales out of nautical charts and put it all together. And, and it was kind of only when that was done I thought that's probably because Granddad used to build boats. And I suppose it's a little bit of a tribute to that. The nautical charts were a gift from Amy Balmain. I put a shout out on Twitter asking for any old maps that people might have. Amy got in touch and we met up and she gave me a massive bag full of maps, map books and really beautiful nautical charts. 
One of the first charts I pulled out of the bag, by a weird coincidence, um, was for Portland and for Weymouth and that, that whole area in the south of England. And um, the inside of the artwork has photographs of Portland Bill, which is the lighthouse on Portland. So it just all works out perfectly. <laughs>